I'm Munich Sears and this is Architect Business Secrets. This is the business of architecture. All right, you may be wondering what Architect Business Secrets is. Well, every day I go on a little walk and I take you with me where I share one tip, strategy, or something I'm thinking about during the day about how to run a more profitable and successful architecture firm. Look, today we're gonna to talk about how you can find good paying clients. And this topic comes from the topic of an article uh, in AM Labs, which is our monthly publication, hard copy publication that goes out every month. There's an article in there by architect Mona Quinn. And in her article, she says that niche is everything. Now, Mona Quinn is an architect who's tripled her revenues. Now she can work with the kind of client she wants to work with. She's respected as a thought leader. And all this happened after she started working with architect marketing coach Richard Petrie. Now, like I said, the, the title or the theme of her article is niche is everything. So what is that? Well, let me tell you a quick story about when I started my architecture firm. I had no idea where to find clients. I had no idea where to find projects. I knew where the, you know, the clients and the projects had come from for the architecture firms that I'd worked for in the past, typically from relationships and past clients. And so what I did, I thought, you know what? I gotta get out there and network, right? So I went to all sorts of networking events. I joined BNI, which is Business Networking International. Uh, I made myself get out there because I heard that's what you're supposed to do. I joined the preservation, the local preservation uh, planning review committee here in my local town of Visalia. I went and I met with the economic development directors, planning directors of various cities. I mean, I was out there beating the bushes. <laughs> and nothing was happening. You know, it didn't seem like any projects, no one had any projects, or the ones that people mentioned, they didn't work out. And in retrospect, now I realize the reason why I was struggling, the reason why I couldn't find good paying clients is because I hadn't thought through what my niche is, right? So a niche is a small subset within an industry. You might think about residential architecture. Well, residential architecture could be a niche in itself, but then you can niche that down even further or you might say niche, you can niche that down even further, and you might say, I wanna focus on passive house design. Okay, that's getting even more specific. Now, for instance, if you're doing healthcare architecture, like I was, you might say that, you know what, I'm gonna focus on medical office buildings for doctors groups, right? That's a very specific niche. Or you might focus on a, another niche in the, in, the, in the healthcare niche itself, which would be, for instance, MRI machines. So you, you know that you wanna do MRI rooms and MRI facilities, right? Maybe within hospitals. Or you might want to focus on hospital rede uh, redesign or uh, remodels or perhaps operating rooms, right? So there's all these little mini niches. Now here's the key. If you don't know exactly what kind of projects you want, in other words, you're willing to take anything because you know you can do everything, the client is not going to know that you're the right architect. For him or her all right i'm going to repeat that again if you don't know what you want the client is not going to know what they want they're not going to be able to see it in you all right so here's what mona quinn did she identified a niche she knew she wanted to do residential design and within residential design she decided she wanted to specifically focus on character home renovations in new zealand now character homes you know in, in new zealand has a great uh, building stock of residential homes made out of timber and she wanted to do the classic or the historical type of homes, right? So that was her niche. Now, because she was able to have a tightly focused niche, she was able to market directly to those people. So here's the key about, about having a niche. A lot of architects feel, you know what? I don't want to niche down because I don't want to say no to projects, number one. And number two, I'm worried that if one of the particular industries goes down that I'm involved in, uh, that the, um, you know, I don't want to put all my eggs in one basket, right? So here's the key. Just because you niche down your marketing message doesn't mean that you have to niche down the actual work that you do. This is how you're able to increase your fees, get premium dollar, and absolutely dominate the competition. So here's my challenge for you today. Identify one tightly focused niche, either based on products that you want to do, projects that pay well, or products you've done in the past. Get out there and dominate that niche come up with a marketing strategy to absolutely dominate that niche so you are the undisputed market champ in that area. Okay, this is, this is exactly what happened to Gensler when Art Gensler started out. 
One of the first projects they did it for a brokerage firm called Cushman and Wakefield. It was a retail fit out. And uh, that basically launched that firm into the 41 office mega firm that they have now because they focused on these retail build outs for Cushman and Wakefield all over the world. It's a very powerful strategy. Same strategy that Mona Quinn has used, as I said before, by focusing on her niche of character home renovations. All right, so there's three takeaways I want to give you from today. Number one, develop a tightly focused niche. Identify what kind of clients you want to work with. Number two, identify and come up with a marketing strategy and a marketing message for that niche. And number three, if you don't know what kind of clients you want to work on, your clients won't know either. Now, if you enjoy this message, I encourage you to go over to freemarketinggift.com. There's a free architect marketing gift I want to send you. Always remember, get out there and conquer the world.